Hello everyone, welcome back to Turok Evolution. It's your boy, Primeval Raptor. We're doing the flying stages now. I don't like the flying stages. Hopefully you guys can hear the audio because she sounds like... She's... If you've been summoned by the seer, this is the fastest way to get there. Don't worry, I'll try to go easy on you. Let's go. The audio is not great. I talked about how innovative some of these uh, Turok games have been in the past, but evidently innovation means you have to scrimp on the audio because that sounded like you were talking into a walkie-talkie in 1990. Uh, I meant to say like 1919, but I said 1990. So yeah, you fly the Quetzalcoatlus, which is not a Quetzalcoatlus. It looks like a fucking Tropiodnathus or an Ornithochiris. Um, my dinosaur nerds in the chat will know what that means. Um, you've got infinite ammo, but you have 20 rockets. The rockets home in on shit. Um, you, oh my god, I almost died immediately. Um, the rockets home in on shit, so if there's anything that you'd like need to destroy, I could have fucking died right there. Um, if there's anything that you like need to destroy or it's like part of the mission... And, like, that's what you want to save your rockets for. I hate how it does this shit. It, like, always checks your... It does that a lot. You'll see that a lot in the flying stages. You'll just, like, in the middle of action. And, like, oh, I've got to fucking load the new level because it's the GameCube era. Fucking spawn me in right there. Yes, ma'am, I'm still with you. These things have health. They have like a dead horse or something there. And the pterodactyl eats it, and it's like, yo. Know, it's not a pterodactyl, it's a pterosaur. If everyone's. No one's gonna complain in the comments about that. But I. Just wanna make sure I'm. You know. I got it covered. I'm not. I did that, like, the other day, whenever I was testing this game to make sure the controls working properly. The controls weren't working entirely properly, but they were working properly enough to where I should have been able to make the shortcut, but I just slammed into a wall about eight fucking times before I decided that that wasn't happening. And the shortcut was not that, like, you see, I got to the end of the level right there. The shortcut got you there in, like, three seconds faster, and it was just, like infinitely harder, so I don't know why you would do that. I also don't know why I have 99 health. They clear the rocks, guys. Cut to, uh, I, Hopefully I get to cut to me slamming directly into a fucking rock. I crashed. I think... I'm not entirely sure. We might be flying in a level that you play later. I want to say we are. We made it. Keep your eyes peeled. There's no telling what's going on. Like... There's some button where you press and it like speeds up the burn. Another point, button where you slow down. The burn. Oh, there it is. It's the fucking Y button. Is that the transport jet? Where the fuck is the transport jet? Try it out. So as she just you see the fuck. As she just said I can talk, I promise. Um, you can turn your pterosaur all the way around in this area. It's not great. I also have no idea where the thing I'm supposed to blow up is. Whoops, that's the wrong button. I think this helps with turning. Is that it? Yeah, that's definitely it. That's big enough. Alright. This is where you want to use your rockets, lads and ladies. Definitely helps. Uh oh. I am honestly surprised I have not eaten shit yet. But to be fair, again, this is one of the levels I did play during my test phase. I wanted to try out one flying level and one regular level, and this is the first flying level, obviously. Um, so, yeah. That might be why, but. I also mentioned, like, I've played this game before. I played it a lot as a kid, like, legit every day for years. Um, this is where I'm going to crash now. 
surprised that did not happen. Um, I didn't particularly... I'm not, like, good at this game. I don't want anyone to have any... any misinterpretations of what I mean. I play this game a lot. I am just bad at video games. I'm good at, like, Smite, and that's it. Which is, again, something I might play. See, again, they say attack the dam. Guess what you're attacking? Not the dam, you're attacking the turrets. If you blow up both the turrets, you can proceed, and the dam blows up. If you can shoot the fucking dam, as far as I'm aware, nothing's gonna happen. So... I guess it's basically just like, hey, don't be stupid. Target what it fucking allows you to target. Ow, dear god. I'm gonna crash now. I crashed. It's fucking brutal when you crash, too. Fucking bird blows up in 800 pieces. That's gonna be a pain in the ass to do again. I don't know. I think I might have to destroy the transport jet again. That's gonna fucking suck. But if not... Oh, are you fucking kidding me? That's great. The only thing these games are forgiving about is, like... I'm pretty sure you have infinite lives. If not, you have a lot of lives. Um, so dying is only ever a setback. It's never like, I don't think you ever get a game over. Please do not cruise, you stupid fucking bird. I'm sorry. I did not mean that. It's not its fault that I'm not good. I don't know if this does anything. Like, zero equipment with that, actually. After that transport jet, don't let them escape. In these larger areas, you can turn the bird all the way up. Fuck yeah. Oh, these are dudes I never realized. I thought they were like actual planes. They're uh, literally hang gliders with laser pistols. Alright, I need to turn around. A lot earlier in these fucking areas. Do these guys keep spawning? Because if so, that's a pain in the fucking ass. But if not, then I'm just bad at hitting them. Because, like, as you saw right there, I had ample opportunity. And I did not accomplish it. I keep hitting the wrong one because it's like. I'm playing with an Xbox controller. Or, like, an Xbox mock controller, because, like, the Logitech one, so it's, like, an Xbox PS4 hybrid. So, X is... This is X, and this is B. And I'd expect that to be opposite, but it's not. So, like, I'm always hitting. Because, like, this makes... You know, this would be, like, you go right, this is, like, you go left. But it's, like, the right button makes you go the left one. You know what I mean. Or you don't. And you've never seen an Xbox controller in your life because you're not a real girl gamer. You all know who you are. I honestly probably hadn't seen an Xbox controller in my life until like... I don't know, like, like 12 or 13. I grew up with... a GameCube... and a Wii. And of course I had like every DS. I had pretty much every Nintendo portable system. Um, and my first like consoles were like a GameCube, I had a Wii, and I had a, a PS3, and I had a PS4. I've never owned an Xbox system. In any capacity. One day, maybe. See? Look. Didn't attack the dam. At all. The dam blew up. I wonder if I've never. <sighs> if I've ever tried, it was when I was a small child. And this, in this one, they force you into like a fucking plummet, so. I don't. I've never seen any reason to go down there and not stay as high as fucking possible, other than lay epic skill challenge. So if you want to do it, go for it. Oh my god. Those guys I'm not entirely convinced I hit. 
but they just went down anyway, so I'll take it. If the, uh, oh my god, those are boats. If the enemy wants to kamikaze, I'm not going to stop them. Oh my god, that was the speed up button, not the turn button. Good lord on the bike. Please give me health. How, what the fucking slow down button? Oh, there it is. I found it, guys. It's A. Time to warm up the artillery. You have to destroy, I think it's the base camps. Those. Uh, like, yeah, there we go. Command tent. They look like fucking anthills. Kind of. I said, like, a bee's nest on the ground. Oh my god. I thought it was gonna blow up before. Come on. Hell. All right, that's a little, that's a little much. I'm sure not all of these guys are completely on board with terraforming the lost land. But oh my God, help! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Oh my lord! How many more do I have? I think I have like two, maybe. So also, you do have infinite guns, so like always be shooting is a decent strategy, but like, I don't fucking know, who cares? Yeah, give it to him! Nice oh, that's it. Now let's find a way out of here. Alright, here we go. What the fuck Over was that? Me into this pipe. I wanna see what that fucking gun thing was. Never seen that before, unless I probably have, I most certainly have. Or I haven't. There's no law saying I have to fucking have seen everything in Turok Evolution. I probably haven't. What's this? Overdrive? Oh, shit. I have seen that. But it's cool. I'm glad I've seen it again. There's like two speeds. There's like blazing fast and... Oh my god, help, help. Oh. I always get scared by that part. Even when I was a kid, it was like, do I actually have to do that? The answer's no. This is the uh, mines area, which I never understood. It's not hard to not slam into those things. And you can pop the balloons immediately with the guns, and they're not an issue. They don't, like, fall on you from above, either. There's literally no... Like... I guess it's, like, something to avoid, something else. But I don't think I've ever had an issue with it. Watch, this is the part where I slam into one at 873 miles an hour. La, lo, lo. Ah, fuck! I flew low, bitch. Lion son of a bitch. So, pretty much the whole plot of this game is, like, tears in the fabric of space-time just bring shit to the Lost Land. Um. Oh, my fucking god. How? Stop! What else is huge? My capacity not to hit that fucking airboat. Casually missed that branch. You can always kind of tell, sort of, whenever it's gonna, like, transport you to a new place because it's, like, always very nothing's happening sort of area. It's like, here's a bare bones piece of fucking work. Now, my only advice for this level, if you're using this as a device to play Turok Evolution, that's a terrible idea. Uh, my only advice for this level, if you are, if you happen to not, my first advice would be watch someone do it. My second advice would be destroy these fucking tanks in this first part of the level, because the way you beat this level, you'll destroy a, um, an airship later. And all of these all of these supplies respawn, by the way, so there's no reason not to grab extras. Specifically help. You can 
you always fucking need help. You usually don't run out of rockets by the time you grab extra rockets. Um, health, you will oftentimes find yourself in game. That one went down quick, son of a bitch. Um, but anyways, that airship will come into play here soon, like on the field, and you have to blow it up. It's a lot more difficult if all the tanks are blasted. So I'd recommend you blow up the tanks in this first part when the airship isn't even in play yet. Um, and then it makes the second part a lot easier. Yeah, now the airship's in play. It's also a bitch and has some tanks on it. So it's not particularly simple to deal with. It's easier once. I'm not gonna try that. It's easier once you make the rest of like. If you make the rest of the area safer in that in the first part, it gets the second part is a lot easier. Which sounds kind of obvious, but I've done both. I've tried to just like fuck around and because like a lot of times. In the past, the reason I wouldn't destroy the tanks is because I'd be fucking with these airships and I'd just be like, let's go with the airships. Um, no shit! But yeah, I'd focus fire on the other airships. Which, um. Again, the airships. They're not. They're not your main concern. Oh my god! I almost just did what that guy in front of me did. Rest in peace. Um. The airships are not the main thing that's going to be blasting into you. The tanks are a lot more accurate than they are, in my experience. So, uh, don't fucking worry about them. If they're in your way and you can blast one, and they'll do that shit all the time. The tanks don't move. They won't slam into the goddamn wall. These mini airships will. Because the pilots are just as inept as I am. It's great game is aware of my shortcomings and adjusts accordingly. I hope. I like to think that. Also, if the uh, airships are an issue, again, they'll do that shit a lot. I just watched two of them slam directly into the goddamn wall. Um, and they also take, like, a bullet to break down. So if they're an issue... They can very quickly not be. These tanks are a lot more... Uh, they're a lot more sturdy. They take, like, multiple rockets to bring down. A single rocket is going to immediately bring down... There goes the washing machine. That probably came across in the recording. A single rocket's going to, like, decimate the fucking little airships. So, like... I wouldn't waste your rockets on the air. Save those for tanks or whatever you're meant to destroy. Because whatever it's like, destroy this. There's a good chance that that is not going to go down in like a single shot or single rocket. If it's telling you to be destroying shit, it's like, oh, this is going to be a Again, see, there's a million fucking things shooting at me and I'm not going to get by like any. So yeah. Let me tell you, it's a lot more difficult when all the tanks are still up, and oh my god. I think I'm more of a hazard to myself than the slates are. This is honestly, when you pick up health like this, it's honestly a, just like a good thing to do anyways in case like shit's getting too hot, too spicy up here, because half of the time that any of the things will follow you in there, they slam into the floor and immediately make themselves a non-issue. What am I supposed to be hitting right now? Is it just like hitting the airship? I thought like once you destroyed all of the... Hush! Listen, 
here. Ace flyer. I'm the new hot shot in town. I don't know if actually just hitting this thing does anything. Yeah, it does. I don't know where I need to go. Um, I'm gonna say a great one. Does it like drag me out? Yeah, it does. Cool. Oh, cutscene. Shh. There's not very many, like, animated cutscenes that, like, aren't done in-engine. There's not very many done in-engine cutscenes. Something tells me this part's been pretty boring, because all I talk about is fucking that airplane shit. I'm also going to talk over all the cutscenes, so if you want to know what's happening in this game... Um, look up another video. So basically, Lord Voldemort, Darth Plagueis, is a uh, like uh, you gotta fulfill the prophecy and save the lost land. And Talset, the main character, is like, I don't want to do that. I want to go back to my home, even though his home was like decimated and his tribe was slaughtered. That's one thing that happened too. So your tribe, well, Talset's tribe was at war with um. Some white folk, some like cowboys. Uh, maybe it was just one. And it, his name was Tobias Bruckner, I think. And he like gunned down all his dudes, and Talset had lost, and he was about to get is like fucking. He's about to get destroyed by Buck Bruckner. Um, and then the portal opened and threw him into the lost land, and that's how the game started. I didn't entirely mean to skip the first cutscene, but, you know, I did. And I'm not going back to record it. I might... Maybe you'll be like, what the fuck are you talking about? He didn't skip the first cutscene. He, he just didn't talk over it. Maybe I'll splice it in. Maybe I'll, like, take it from somebody else. And put it in the video. Maybe I won't, and you'll say he didn't, you know, and, and that you'll know why I'm talking about not showing the first cutscene, because I didn't show it. I'm sure it'll be easy enough to find if you really care about the story. The levels in this game are also just super funny aesthetic. Like, they're- oh my god! I mean, I'm brave. That's a little tiny dinosaur, and I'm a grown man. This is also one of the coolest attachments in the game. You get a scope for your pistol. It works fine, just like as your regular pistol, but it also does this. Watch. Like, if I had that in real life, I'd be top tier. I don't think any of the... It's really a hit or miss. I guess they never miss, huh? Um, whether or not the compies are gonna, like, try and just eat your fucking dick off or if they're just going to be chill it surprises me how decent I am with the bow and then how completely worthless I am with the pistol like, I can only use the pistol in sniper mode I'm sh I would say I'm sure I'm not, um, but I'm sure there's a way you can holster the bow, or like the arrow once it's already charged, but I don't do that. So you gotta do these stone tablet things. I don't recall if they come to play in any other levels, or if it's just these two. In the entire game. Excuse me. I was playing earlier with some of my friends, and they were just like hanging out here, I was playing this game, passing off the controller every time we die. 
Um, it was while I was testing. This was the last level I did d during my test. Um, well, the last level I beat. I played a bit of the next level, and then I... Ah, fuck. Oh, damn, that was impressive. Sometimes they'll just run when they drop their weapon. And sometimes they don't get to drop their weapons. Peace was never an option for Joseph Turok. I say Joseph Turok. That's the name of the one from the 2008 game. The guy. This guy is Tal Set. That's his, like, that's his name. And he gains the title of Turok after he saves the land, I think. Oh my god! I don't know what the title of Turok is. I know it's like Turok Son of Stone is the first game. I don't know if that's what the title is. Like, I don't know if that's what Turok translates to in the whatever the fuck language. I'm sure it's fictional, so I don't feel bad about saying the whatever the fuck language. What is shooting at me? Oh, I've seen. Yeah, like, boom. But he felt ba boom. The dinosaur is an explosive or some shit. I don't fucking know. It's a cool little cinematic, like, in game. It's. Again, slightly impressive, which are like little. I'd say at least that, like, just like these little things that happen in the game. Got grenades now. Sticky grenade. Ow! Oh, fuck, it's on the deer! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god. I'm glad I was recording that. That was pretty funny. I'm sure I'm not the first person that's happened to, even documented on the internet, but that was great. Oh, that was actually really fucking funny. I also apologize for coughing my lungs out whenever the, the second after I was laughing. You stupid son of a bitch. I wasn't even aiming at you that time. Boom, small med kit. I think this is where, where the shotgun guys come into play. Shotgun dudes are no fucking joke. Yeah, there they are. Oh, I'm gonna hit you by that. No, I didn't. That grenade the longest timer ever. The shotgun dudes, like, fucking tuck and roll and all this shit. It's annoying, but impressive. I went straight through that guy's legs. The hitboxes are impressive in this game. Another thing I like about this game. It's just the fucking- OH MY GOD HE'S COMING! Dude, that dude was dicks out. Yo, Russia, we come in with the dicks out. I can't say the word and the rest of that meme, but some people know it. And considering I said I can't say the word, you can probably guess what it is. Fun fact. I'm not gonna say that fun fact. Is that guy- OH MY GOD, HE'S NOT DEAD! I was convinced he was not alive. And that was... anything but the case. Are these all explosive arrows? I need regular arrows. I'm, all, I'm literally completely out. I also didn't know you could only hold 15 explosive arrows. What are these? Oh, poison arrows. I missed those first levels, so I'm glad I got those now. Poison arrows, at least for humanoid enemies, they are a one-shot, but it takes, I'd say, like, three or four seconds to actually take effect. Come on. There we go. What the fuck? Stop screaming. There. Nothing to scream about. Everything's quiet. You stupid bastard. Oh, I shot the gun right out of his hand. Fucking hell! His friends are about to blast him away on his own. I don't know why that guy just stood there and took it. I mean... It was impressive. He gained my respect. Uh, in, in Valhalla. These are like the sniper class enemies. You can tell they have like feathers on their backs. Whoops, that was not the right button. I meant to zoom out, not pause the game. Th 
the game's relatively not very stingy with um, health. They're very stingy with ammo. I'm always running out of fucking arrows or bullets. I'm also bad at aiming, so for like a regular adept person who is playing, who knows how to play a video game, it's probably not very stingy with ammo. I don't know how long I've been going. I might. Oh my god, he blasted his friend. That guy was surrendering, but I got health when I killed him, so. Where did that guy go? Ow. There he is. Oh, that is a lot of men. That was good. Boom. What's up, lad? See, the downside of those grenades taking so long to explode, I have been going for a little long. Um, it's near being blah, blah, blah. The downside of those grenades taking way so long to explode is, um, I should be using an explosive arrow. I was hoping that would hit him. Oh, there we go. Downside to the uh, grenades from the enemies taking way so long to explode, um, you forget about them. And like I almost did that right there. I was just like, "Fucking, that dude doesn't ain't doing shit." And then I almost got blown back to the fucking Stone Age. Get it? I'm playing Turok. It's like a cave. <laughs> um, I think we'll leave off here that's the path to the next level right there so thank you guys for watching um hopefully you guys are enjoying the series and report recording these first couple parts back to back um again let me know if you'd like to see anything else on the channel i'd love to see input i might not take it but i might so doesn't hurt to give it um again i might start doing like figure reviews or other gameplays I'm thinking about just doing, like, just recordings whenever I play video games. Like, I play Smile all the fucking time. Um, and, I, again, like, I own... I don't know if I'll do a bunch of unboxings, because half my shit's already unboxed. But I have a bunch of fucking, like, Jurassic Park, Godzilla, just random dinosaur figures. So I might do a couple, like, your boy's figure reviews. Figure reviews with your boy. Friendly War Raptor, aka Austin, aka the best member of Comically Offensive, aka edit that out. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope everyone enjoyed. I feel like I do in the outro like four times. But uh I will see you guys next time. Goodbye! <laughs>